Uh, let's see. Let's see. We have been we have been warned by our, our mod team that there's a raid Shadowlands ad in here that we can skip. Um, <laughs> just just you know, for note. <laughs> Should I we mean, need we're it? Watching there. We're watching it, it's their, their video, content. you know. Yeah, we might as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's how they made it. It's how they made it. All right. So this is pint. Yes, yes this is right. pints. This this has been a highly requested video. Allow me to kill the music. Uh, we'll do a little sound check on your end, Garrett. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, Final perfect. Fantasy. This is wild, dude. Like, uh, their animation style is absolutely nuts. Is nutty. that not the game with the Goofy in it? No. Final Fantasy is one of the best games I've ever played. I've been playing it for months now, and let me tell you, the only thing goofy about this game is the stunts I pull. I've been known to engage in some mild tomfoolery on occasion. And when I first heard of it, I thought I'd hate it. Cause in my fantasy game, children. Oh boy, that is in exactly my how fantasy I game. <laughs> cut <laughs> cut <laughs> Dude, the car Dude. was such a turnoff. The yes, a, a lot of the just random, what seemed like random insanity, outside of the game itself. Like just seeing screenshots, I was like, this this game just looks like a mess. It looks like a nightmare. What is what is going on? I was there. Uh, it, it's the the ether right out outside uh, where you start, and then you have to walk over to the rising sands or waking sands. There was someone who had that car, and it went. And then someone else like immediately teleported in and gotten one of the robot mechs, you know, the thing that you get for completing a realm or born. And I was like, yeah. oh my God, I hate it. I hate this place. I still kind of hate the car. <laughs> um, but yeah, I kind of felt the same way you did about the Magitek. But then like by the end of a realm or born, you're like, oh, there, there's like copious amounts of in world lore that yeah. makes sense when you actually experience the story. Uh, and yeah, like it, it, it's that thing I talk about, man, where it's like I'm now wearing armor in this game because of things I've experienced in the game itself instead of just wearing things that I think are cool from outside forces. Like I now like Final Fantasy 14 for what it is, and I've become a fan within its world. Uh, and then I saw do, 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 yeah. I, I saw a clip of someone doing what we did. Um, was it Evil East there, the sniper robot, where we had to show our hole? I think the whole chat was yelling. <laughs> so I saw a clip of that and I was like, why are there robots in a fan? I, I'm so lost. And now that I'm in it, I'm like, ah, ah, it, 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 can it, it can be whatever it wants. It can be whatever it wants. Everything makes sense. Everything makes Oof. sense. Ah, that one's all right. And until last year, yeah, I genuinely <laughs> thought the aforementioned Goofy was a staple of the Final Fantasy franchise. Turns out he's actually from a different <laughs> game, but the vibe and art style still never really seemed like my thing. But. I've never been more wrong. I love this game, man. Since I have the number one most important opinion on the internet, I figured I'd grab that pretty little head of yours and shove my new favorite game into those eyeballs. This is exceptionally mm. well so, edited, from right? the lovable developers to the shocking realization that you've been on copium for years, today I take you through my adventures in Final Fantasy XIV. And what got me so invested so quickly? Rabbit girls. Our journey begins here, in Uldar, a city run by the two most evil groups in society. Tyrannical politicians who would do anything for coin, and short people. Your first impression of Lala Fell might be the same as any other small race. <laughs> played by 40 year old men, and an awkward bus ride if you're scrolling through Twitter in public. However, Lala Fell. Don't be misled, my viewers. They may have a thin veil of cuteness, but their evil knows no bounds. Yeah, stop petting me. <laughs> I revealed. Wait a minute. This seems like a joke, but it's so true. The Lothals are some of the most evil characters, like consistently evil characters in the lore. What the hell was that sound? Hang on. In public. However, Lala fell. Uh, don't be misled, my viewers. They may have a thin veil of cuteness, but their evil knows no bounds. <laughs> yeah. What is that sound? Is it just a it's TV laughter. sound that gets used a lot? No, the thing oh just like the creaky door yeah i feel like i hear that all the time now that not the laugh the like thing is it hell's kitchen that that played a lot is that hell's kitchen what is hell's kitchen hell's kitchen was um my cooking show oh with uh with sweary mcbritish what's his name stop petting me yeah i reveal to yeah. you the secret of Gordon all Ramsay. lala fell players the smaller you are 
the bigger other races are. <laughs> oh, so that's so where we're going with So with my cute this. face, yep. complete lack of ethics, and desire to get a 20-minute sponsored video out without playing with I pulled up my boots <laughs> and set out into the city to make something of myself. So I went to my mum for help. She said I should make some friends and get a fucking job. So in my bid for power, I began handing out cakes to the local guards, which were definitely not poison. Stop asking questions. Until it came to my attention that the it's princess had it's gone missing. such a cool missing. style to move between the emotes. <laughs> How awfully convenient! Surely whoever would save her must be held I'm just in trying high to, regard. I'm thinking what about how painstakingly Frodo this is. Myself. Although I guess you could do a green screen I decided again. that I would help find the princess. So I opened my map and started running towards her exact... That's a good question. I think um, at the recent fan fest, uh, Pint might have said how, you, how they do their animations do they put themselves in front of the green screen in like a free company house and just record themselves emoting and i would imagine they'd have to that would like, like a lot of work i've i've done my fair share of roto wing and it takes forever um this is there's too much i feel like that that or or, or pint is a roto wing god yeah that's oh, wild green screen room it's location screen ah, that okay is when i saw <laughs> There you go, man. I disagree. I know you disagree. <laughs> Thank you. Fear not, princess. Because I am here. <laughs> All right, this is the Nanima voice. I don't know how I ended up here, but thank you for saving me, <laughs> Rabban. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, how'd you get here? Huh, ladies. <laughs> Uh, we're going to need you like to uh, do all Thankard voices from now on. Think. Feel. Think. <laughs> Mommy. Bro, what the fuck? It was then that I was invited to a feast with the royals of Uldar. And I graciously accepted my That's growth skip it over, but yeah, it works. Once again, you'll be happy to know that Technoblade is now so safe cute. in her own castle. They're I was together. hoping to network, but the best seat I could get was next to her dad. And all he wanted to talk about was the war <laughs> five years ago, where countless lives were lost because of the Asian slash uh, fucking uh, the moon. Which is weird, because I killed one of these guys like 15 minutes ago. That's right, this ancient powerful being was no match for me, a regular ordinary adventurer. Damn, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> you gonna finish this that? Fantastic. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> he is special, <laughs> mommy. And so Thancred brought me to his friends, the Squines of the Seventh Dawn. Meet our heroes. I have awaited your coming. The one everyone hates, except for, um, the ones everyone should hate. Welcome. The guy whose dialogue doth ye skip. The e-boy. I never doubted that you'd come. The e-boy. <laughs> and this guy, but we'll get to him later. Aww. Together they this form the scones of the seventh and, dawn, and, and the corner. primary goal of this organization is to kill <laughs> the primals. Which are demigods summoned by various tribes around the world. Primals wish, usually yes. just mind control anyone that doesn't have your powers. Because this lovely, curvy lady has given you the power to remember things. So it turns out all of those blackouts I had were actually a good thing. And not damaging my brain. And so you team up with the members of the Shallots of the Seventh Dawn. But mostly this guy who is 16, internet. You make wonderful friends. Use your power for good. And... <laughs> And to tell you any more would spoil things, but trust me, the story in this game is very good, and I like it a lot. Now this yeah, can be a very social like game, oh, yeah. which means you're going to be meeting a lot of new people. And this game can have quite a twisty story, with many plot points that can be easily spoiled. Goofy dies in season 2. Those seem like conflicting qualities. While I admit it can be a little stressful dodging spoilers on my Twitter timeline, this game does this combo the best that I think any game possibly could. 
and the community, generally, is super anti-spoiler. The only things I've had spoiled were kind of minor and were kind of accidents. And annoying as spoilers are, <laughs> I'm a streamer. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So I probably have it worse. You've probably already played it, or it's probably only going to be about as bad as- oh, Dude, dude, wait for Heaven's Ward. <laughs> it gets so good at Heaven's Ward. It gets so good. But yeah, spoilers, bad, hate them. Now, back to the story. I'll be taking my payment. Thank you for slaying the primals, but there is more work to be done. <laughs> Low angle. And you will do it. And so I ventured forth as the hero I am. <laughs> Ready to save the world. What? Wait, what? What is that melody? You're dancing. <laughs> My god, they're dancing. What are those faces doing? They're smiling. The people were having fun. Oh, and the music. The music was super copyrighted. And as new as I was to the game, <laughs> that was sort of the first moment where it clicked. I spent the rest of the night taking screenshots with the pals. Look at this guy, he's playing a male character in a video game. <laughs> it's a feeling I hadn't <laughs> felt in a while. Okay guys, it's time for Pint to pay his rent. The plan was simple. Get in, grab the greatest mobile game of all time. Hey, you know what? And to pull this off, break. I'm gonna need some backup. Meet my three favorite spooky Halloween champions. Harvest Jack. He's a jack of all trades. <laughs> this is a you know what? He's the Put brain some work into this one. If only they were his brains. And the damn I know people didn't come Jesus for us God. to react we made our way to through YouTube ads, but I've seen a lot of YouTube ads. And this yeah. one is worth some compliments. Yeah, no, this is a lot of work. But this is a lot of work. Set off the alarms. I don't want to think about how much work this would take. The greatest mobile game of all time. Well, I can see why. Nope. With over 400 we'll champions to collect. Yep, they gotta do, gotta do the clear. script. And a PvP arena where they can fight against other players. They'd be fools not to. Oh, that's my favorite part. Have you seen the commercial with the orc? <laughs> oh, that commercial is ravishing. <laughs> but the gameplay is to die for. Oh, they're getting away. <laughs> There's so many keyframes. Fight. Why? Why'd you do it? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Have you heard of Raid's newest Halloween update? We're talking big rewards. Oh, we got the QR Portable code in the corner. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's in the right. That's not even the <laughs> best part. I'll be able to get my hands on a brand new legendary Halloween champion. <laughs> oh, my Uber's here. You know the game's <laughs> free, right? You could've just downloaded it. Yeah, on mobile devices and PC. <laughs> Jack! <laughs> oh wow oh there, there's a storyline and everything Look at all of this I, there's so much I, effort uh, i worked with your husband he wanted me to tell you to click the link in the description below or scan my qr code to get a free epic hero turn order Damn. one xp boost one energy Love it. one ancient shot and 200 k silver to help you wow now do, do world of thanks now do world of thanks People skip For the next this? week, I farmed the golden source of remotes. I think I like it here. Oh, You're a content creator. Game. Sweet, you, I got bunny yeah, ears. Now I can you focus on exactly getting cool outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Save us. The primals are coming. Did somebody say Palace of the Dead? Sounds pretty cool. Crafting oh, jobs understand. doesn't okay. sound cool, but somehow is. I could have sworn there was something I was supposed to be doing right now. It's very easy oh, to get song. sidetracked in this game. I think that's a discovery we all make along the way. Mom, Dad. That and the spider one. I have something to tell you. I decided to quit my job as a hero and become a dancer. A dancer? Well, <laughs> the party buffs are useful. <laughs> no, father. Like this! One of the Makes best me want to design my parents game in game. There's so many definitions of endgame. <laughs> there's your usual solo content or rating or whatever. Uh, and a little should, box that'd be, here and there. That'd be weird. People create we songs, probably not dance that, routines, but... fashion, interior design, economic domination. Some of the most hardcore players I've met are high-end ultimate raiders. And yet, they are mere insects beneath the boots of role players. The penultimate form of a Final Fantasy player. Logging on daily to take cute screenshots and dance. And that's like kinda <laughs> not even a joke. <laughs> and having done a couple raids, it's not like the raids are bad either. It's actually some of the most fun I've ever had raiding. It's just you have a choice now. The driving force is fun. Nothing is mandatory and everything is encouraged. 
Because to make a fantasy yeah. world feel real, True you need dig. Your sweaty. When did this come out? When was the what was the release date? Oh, damn, October. It's fresh. Yeah, yeah. It's fresh by the standard of videos we're usually requested to react to. Yeah, so this would have been after the mass exodus, but certainly at the height of uh, people transferring over right before Endwalker hit. Yeah. Uh, this video makes me want to be a cat boy. <laughs> <laughs> and your made cat girl photography enthusiasts. Now, I think it's about time I got around at killing those primals. I like oh. time. He understands that <laughs> the cat girls deserve better. respect. Mm -hmm. What if I told you that me, the best mage player in the whole world, the betrayer of guilds, found an even greater foe. This content would make even the most experienced Raiders quake with fear. That's right. I decided to try and buy a house. But there's a few catches <laughs> with buying houses. <laughs> Firstly, there's a finite number of houses on any server. There's just under yep. 400,000 houses in all of Final Fantasy, which is not a lot when you consider the player count. And slots mm -hmm. only become available mm -hmm. when someone doesn't log in for 45 days. I'll tell you about the second catch in a moment. It's a big one. Ahem, <clears throat> attention everybody, there is a fucking house for sale. I ran to the plot, <laughs> looked around a little, and I hovered over the purchase button. Was this truly where I wanted to live? Yes. Doesn't matter. Nice. Nah. So no I choice. clicked purchase. Oh. So here's the second catch. At some point, in a 24 hour period, the oh, house right. will randomly become available for sale. Oh, that's Meaning, before the yeah, to acquire the a house, you have to repeatedly do this and hope that you're the person that purchases the house oh, my the goodness. moment oh, it becomes that's... available. Randomly yeah. Yeah. in a 24 so hour period. Work. Uh, I'm so happy we got to skip this. Th yeah, I didn't need to do this. Uh. I'm glad I live in a world where this doesn't happen and the crystal tower is required yeah i'm happy to live in this world <laughs> crystal tower became required for this <laughs> period i don't have time for this i give up now now that's not the pint i know well i guess there is one thing i could do Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind no, of no, 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 no. What, what, what is it? <laughs> I mean, I could, uh, I could, I could exploit the working class. Meet wife havers. <laughs> oh, the things we would do together. The wife conquests havers. we'd march right after you guys buy a house. <laughs> you know, for the guild. <laughs> we had two people around the clock clicking a placard. Oh my goodness! And the rest goodness. of us would sit there to make it seem like there was more competition than there was to scare off potential competitors. It was truly a chance for us all to bond. A learning experience. And what I learned in this experience is that my friends are fucking psychopaths. This is Job. She was there for 40 hours over four days. Oh, how do I know this? Only the fucking Google Doc we created to track the hours camped, the plot opening <laughs> times, and to see how close we were to committing human rights violations. Now, now, keep camping. You wouldn't want to go back to Torghast, would you? After about three <laughs> days, though, one of our happy little campers discovered something. Something that would blow this case wide open. <laughs> Take a look at this chart. Yep, turns out in the first eight hours, the chances of a plot opening are basically zero. And for the creamy, most efficient strat possible, you want to click in this four hour window. Ah, yes. Math. <laughs> Only four short hours of clicking. As luck would have it, on the dawn of the fourth day, during prime time, I sent Jub a very funny meme. And she tabbed out for a moment to look at it. The house. It sold. Oh god. I hope this is a true story. Like we bought the house. It was us. It was us. It was our backup clicker. There's always a backup. Oh, uh, you got me. Yeah. You got me. Place yeah. to call home. And we relocated immediately because the goblet, say it with me, is, is for broadcast bitches. <laughs> <laughs> So Final Fantasy. Yeah, well, it is my least favorite, favorite, but I think it gets a bum rap. It is still cool. Yeah, it's still cool. Yeah, it's still cool. And at the risk of sounding a bit too serious, it's taught me a lot of valuable things about myself. Trying new things, being a nicer person. I've got a bunch of new friends, way less stress. And honestly, man, just kind of a better outlook on life. I don't think it's just the game that's done that, but still, I'm happy.
Plus, I got this house. <laughs> Holy shit, that was great. Yeah, that was a really a really good story was, time. It's extremely well made. That's some heavy effort. How many how many views is it up to now? Was it, okay, oh, so over a million. Over a okay. million. So right, that makes me happy. Yeah. That's uh well returned. Compliments about our editing. That's that makes us look like a, the, the laziest YouTubers on earth. So you do so what do you so you stand so maybe maybe a, a mod, you know, because G Shade had like a thing. Uh, but you could also get in the house and get in front of the green screen and record yourself emoting and then you like slam them together so like they they flow to one or another it's a I mean, you can make a green wall in the game you can you can key it out yeah i love the like i, I just love the bounciness of it all like it's such a great style it really flows and yeah, they start I wonder... they, I'm assuming After Effects. Is yeah, you would need to do After Effects, right? Yeah, dude, that video is great. I see why people recommend that one a lot. <laughs> after Effects is busy. That's that's deep stuff. That's hard work. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I've used <laughs> yeah. Too much. I haven't used it for anything we do uh, for time constraints and whatnot. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's the, the, the bounciness is the whole damn thing is very well done. Also, like there were other things in there. Where it's like, how did he get the the low shot of Infilia keyed out? Uh, that's, like, that's a good question. Because uh, how would you go about doing that? Well, they would have had to get like a model uh, exporter of some kind for Rob on here. In order to make him a moat, I assume. Oh, does Robin wear that's... shorts? I guess he does wear shorts. Well, he's got when he's standing, you can't really tell because he's it's like a kilt. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe we, maybe we shouldn't go too deep into this conversation, right? Like you know, they. I mean, I mean, it's that or it's you're looking at balls, man. Like yeah. you got two options. No, uh, I'm not talking which... about Robin's shorts. I'm talking about like what they used to make it because you know we know what it's, it's it's there. There are things. No, whatever we're. We're we don't impressed. Know. Everything we say is hearsay, yeah. Kyle. Nothing oh, that's true. true. Yeah, we're not, we we're don't not know declaring how anything. We don't know. We can just assume. We're not casting we're aspersions. Not, yeah. We're just trying to figure it out. Nor are we promoting any of these things that would be... No, we're not promoting those no. things. We've no. never promoted those things. Uh, I've never promoted those things. I'm just, no. I'm just thinking of yeah. ways you could do it. I'm not saying that's how Pint did it. No. I'm not saying that's how anyone no. did it. I'm saying no. there's ways you could have done it. Everyone's innocent. Yeah, I've never seen things come out of the source uh, filmmaker that I shouldn't have seen. Never. <laughs> never twitter is a wonderful place full of clean imagery of course yeah of course yeah <sighs> that's always fun when you're in a public place man what oh when you're opening twitter on a public uh oh yeah you're just scrubbing through twitter like which which 9.99999 times out of 10 totally fine mm -hmm. and then that one friend of yours you know the friend i'm talking about is a little too thirsty you know yeah Twitter's like, hey, I'm gonna out your buddy for being a horn dog. Yeah, like every what they liked. liked by so and so, and you're like, oh it's no. It's not even a retweet. Yeah. Twitter's outing you for being for, for being in horn jail. That's what Twitter's doing. Be yeah. able to opt out of that. Yep. And I don't want to, you know, I, I mean, normally I don't care, but like, you know, when you're it literally one time, literally, I was at a convention sitting next to like some friends in a line, and I was just scrolling through Twitter, and like some shit popped up, and I'm like. Not me. <laughs> not, not me. <laughs> Look, everybody. Look at what I didn't do. 